Okay. <clears throat> Check to see the stream's working. Okay. I think it's working. Okay, so uh, the objective today uh, is to review uh, the uh, game um, The Hunter, uh, Call of the Wild. I uh, wanted to do a, um, a review series, kind of like me sitting on a soapbox or standing on a soapbox um, about game improvements. Um, you know, where the game excels, where it could be better, because uh, I can't really find a lot of good reviews, and I bought the game, and it's not bad, but there's definitely some room for improvement, and I'm going to go ahead and kind of cover as much of that as I can. Um, Nick, it looks like you're watching. Can you hear me okay? I'm going to go ahead and load my game. I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn off the music, because it's distracting. Um... So, right off the bat, okay, bye, fine. Um, right off the bat, the <clears throat> one of the like many things that people say are the me the menus suck pretty bad. Um, but we'll we'll get into that. Um, so menus suck pretty bad, and apparently uh, the audio uh, settings don't don't stick when when you set things so um okay so first off uh i i've been playing the game already so this isn't uh, like already quite a few missions in so this isn't quite the tutorial but this is pretty much where you near nearby where you start um so one of the first things i want to cover because everybody glazes over this is the function of the outpost and the base okay so you've got a, a cabin you can sleep at the cabin it costs you money, which you earn by a hunting. Um, I don't think there's any DLCs or microtransactions in the game. I think that's kind of why this game got released, uh, to kind of appease a different market of people uh, from the people who play the free-to-play version of this game. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so you can rest there. You can basically set the time of day that you want to hunt. Uh, over here is where all your gear is. Now, one of the main... Con uh, contention points about this game is that the menus suck, like I've already said. Um, nobody's really sure how the storage versus backpack system works. Um, it's buggy. Uh, like, you can already see the icons aren't loading. So, it's kind of hard to tell whether or not you're putting something in your backpack or or not putting it in your backpack. Like, like the UI is not very... Like, see, I just kind of figured out now that apparently dragging it works. And I'm also apparently not carrying my polymer tip bullets so now I am uh, apparently you can carry both so I'm not really sure how that works um, but yeah so that's kind of the problem um, like see I'm clicking the store button nothing's happening so the menus are super buggy um, but uh, beyond that the weapons are like super expensive. Uh, not only that, in order to even buy them, you need to have a certain score with the rifles, which is insane to even reach on some of these. But regardless, I only have the starting rifle and I bought some new bullets for it, whatever. It does look like you have to pay for like the good ammo, but it does look like the base, the basic ammo is ch is free right so it's not the best bullet it's not the best for the best rifle but it is free and i guess you can just click as many times as you want the polymer tip bullet uh, is a better bullet but it's more expensive um so there's that but you i'm not really sure how many you buy when you click the button so that needs to be explained um and then if i come away and I click on the inventory you can see that see I don't know why that un, unassigned okay so now if I click on the rifle I don't it looks like I don't have an ammo equipped right that and that are both empty but if I pull up the rifle itself okay yeah the scope's not on and I don't have any bullets okay so let's go to 
the rifle. All right, so we want the polymer bullets, and we want the scope. Okay, so now uh, I clicked the button to buy the polymer bullets a couple of times, like two or three times. I have five in the weapon and 32. I don't know what that translate to, translates to. I don't know how many I bought. Whatever. Okay, so that's just kind of that. Now, the outposts are... I haven't found another outpost yet. They're apparently really spread out. If you can find a map of where they all are. But you can only trans uh, fast travel between the, the, the outposts. And they're really far apart. And it sucks to just start in the same place every time. Because if I... I guess the game auto-saves. So if I walk... You know, spend an hour, walk out in the middle of nowhere, and do a little bit of hunting, or don't find anything, and I have to walk away from my computer, and I need to shut down for whatever reason. When I do that, it saves my progress, apparently, but it sends you back to this outpost, so then you got to make that trek again. That is, of course, until you find... Wow, that was really close. It sounded really close. Where's that? There should be a track nearby. All right, now what was I saying? Lost track of what I was saying. So, yeah, anyway, it takes really long to walk everywhere, and then you just get pushed back to, I'm assuming, your last outpost that you were at. But who knows? I haven't unlocked the other outpost yet. I think the game definitely needs some form of motor transport and maybe not just one form of motor transport maybe make it something that makes the game a little bit more interesting make different types of purchases ATVs dirt bikes maybe a small Jeep whatever that would be a pretty neat little addition I think um, a lot of people online that I saw so far have complained about how if you add that, then people are going to be riding around, like, making a lot of noise and just being stupid on ATVs. Well, that's their prerogative. Um, and then beyond that, they're like, oh, well, that's going to ruin multiplayer when people are just being stupid. Well, you're playing with the wrong people on multiplayer, so that sounds like a personal problem. But anyway, um, yeah, so those are just kind of some of my initial problems, but once I actually get a hunt going, um, there's some other issues with the user interface and about the way, um, ooh, perfect, maybe I might have the opportunity to explain what I'm talking about. So your character runs really slow. I'm at a full full sp sprint, quote unquote, right now. And I'm going to try and find the tracks of that deer that just ran by. These are old tracks. The tracks I'm looking for should be newer. Here's the blood. Just now. Here's some more. Alright, here's the tracks. He's at a run. More blood here medium blood rate, so if I can track this, he's probably going to collapse at some point. I would just like to point out that I don't, I'm not an avid hunter in real life. I like to take advantage of the fact that it's a video game, and uh, nobody, nothing gets hurt. Alright, here he is. Okay. So, got a doe. First of all, there's no as far as I can tell, you can just kind of freely hunt whatever you want, whenever you want. Uh, makes it kind of easy. Makes everything out here a tar potential target. I don't know how I feel about that. But beyond that, um, there are uh, a handful of things that you can hunt, but the lack of... Um, like, I can take a picture, right? It makes basically takes a screenshot, but there's no immersive quality to it. It's just basically me taking a screenshot and a tiny little user interface. But the other thing is I can't, like, I know it's kind of sad, but I can't pose the deer like you do in hunts, right? Like, prop it up or 
or take a selfie with it or something. I don't know. It's immersive. It's just a video game, right? So don't yell at me. But um, so that's a problem, or maybe not a problem. I just feel like that would add a little bit of immersion, right? Um, the fact that you can just kind of freely hunt whatever that's kind of immersion breaking like I just shoot it whatever I see right as opposed to me going oh you know when I saw that doe I could have went okay well it's not doe season so I have to look for a buck um, but whatever now <clears throat> if I click the confirm trophy button this is kind of cool it shows you where you shot so I was pretty much dead on on my aim I got the lung and I guess part of his is uh, uh, right radius ulna right so it was a quick kill bonus of 41 so it didn't kill him instantly but he didn't get very far um integrity bonus has to do with the weapon that i used it wasn't too overpowered so i got all 100 points for that um so the score was 234 not entirely sure how that scored i don't get a trophy for that which okay um um for type, like a lot of this information doesn't really, you know, give you a lot of like, okay, what's the context? Why do I need to know this? I mean, it's good to know this information, but, you know, how does it affect the gameplay, right? Um, so a lot of these things, you don't know how it affects the score, and then it gives you an arbitrary score number, and then an amount of XP and cash, and then some apparent trophy icon that's never explained. But the cool thing is, depending on how many times I, I shoot, it shows each entry wound and what it did. Like, I only shot once on this guy. It went in from the uh, right side of the deer, right? Distance was, uh, I guess, uh, 83 meters. And I got an arbitrary weapon score. Don't know what that is. I guess it has to do with the weapon and the ammo type. Whatever. So maybe had I done that with iron sights, I would have got more points, I guess. I don't know. So anyway, now here's the thing. I accept that deer disappears. Okay. All right. Well, you know, we get. I guess they're thinking, oh, let's get you right back into the hunt. Well, okay, that's kind of immersion breaking, right? Now, I'm. Not, it's just a video game, I know. But if you don't want to promote the idea of just running around and like murder, mass murdering animals, maybe you ought to have a system in place where, like, um, you know, I have to walk back to my ATV and recover the body and then like tag it or something like near nearby an ATV or drag the body back to camp maybe that maybe that would be an option right like maybe a difficulty option you get more points for doing that maybe there's a, an easier option where I can come up and do something like I just did right where I, I clipped the, the deer and then it disappeared but I ha can only do that maybe twice before I have to make a stop at back at base right Maybe, maybe different levels of options of difficulty in order to do that. But as it is right now, I can literally just keep hunt hunting. Probably not here because the deer already ran away, but... So that's that's one of my qualms. Now, I guess I spent quite a bit of time talking, so let's go... I actually got really lucky that that deer even showed up. Alright, so one of the other qualms is that people say that... loud with the wind. I'm hoping you can hear me, because if you can't hear me, this whole video is crap. But, um, so one of the other things people complain about is that since I'm not playing with a controller, uh, I'm playing with a mouse and keyboard, if you look at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, oh, shoot, you can't see that, hang on. Let's fix that. Okay, so, alright. All right, so if you look at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, uh, you can see that I have my magazine, the number of rounds I still have, which I mentioned earlier but didn't realize you couldn't see. Got a compass and wind speed, or wind direction, rather. But I've also got heart rate, bottom left, visibility, bottom middle, and sound, bottom right. Now, since I'm using mouse and keyboard, my option to go forward is W. Okay, that's it. I don't have varying levels of hitting that button. Oh, shit. Damn. Damn. Missed a deer. Oh, 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 oh. There's more. I'm not really sure what the artifacting is when I shoot like that. That's weird.
but you can see that no matter what I'm hitting, so if I'm hitting forward, walking, versus running, that sound icon on the bottom right is still the same. I'm creating the same amount of sound, right? If I crouch, I'm still creating the same amount of sound, right? If I kind of go into a divot, maybe where the grass isn't as heavy, it's a little better, but pretty much it doesn't matter if I'm if I'm crouched slowly through heavy grass or running at a full sprint, I'm creating a lot of noise. Apparently, if you have a controller, you can adjust how fast you're walking with just pressing the thumbstick just a little bit, and that has an effect. Um, okay, so here's blood, fresh wound. A whole ton of tracks, but none of them appear to be new. Anyway, that needs to be improved because that is one heck uh, of a disadvantage that you're just constantly making a whole hell of a lot of noise. Did I spend so much time talking that the tracks got old? Where the hell is that blood? Bear droppings. Okay, here we go. Ooh, that's a bear. So I hit that deer, but I don't know where he went. That's another thing. Um, when rabbits get startled, they make a whole hell of a lot of noise. It sounds like clothing rustling in trees. It doesn't sound like a rabbit. I just looked in the wrong direction for this deer. Alright, so I think that deer might be lost. I can't tell the difference between any of these tracks. footprints. There's a trot here. More droppings. More tracks. Mm. I'm expecting to find more blood around here somewhere. Driving, driving them away at this point because the wind's at my back. So they can smell me a mile away.
we'll post up here for a minute. I feel like I'm shooting a BB gun. Okay, so that target is moving. So somehow that deer got tagged, and I am going to hunt it. But I can't see it. I see it. Movement. Okay, so I'm probably highly uh, smelly to the deer. See, I just scooped him. Alright, I'm going to need to go around him. Okay, he's trotting off. I saw it. The other thing that bo bothers me about this game is you automatically cycle the bolt when you fire, which is guess fine considering you just blasted your target and you're probably super awesome. Guess that settles it. No wonder the black tail's on the run. Gotta give Hope some credit. His suspicions were right on target. Thanks for keeping a lookout. Hey there. I think it's time I told you about Jonathan Trampfine. He heard of your dealings with black bears in Valmont. So he wanted to know if you might help him out as well. Tramp Fine loves black bears. He's been living out here on the reserve for many years, getting as close as he can to the bears and documenting them. A little too close for comfort, if you ask me. Last couple of days, he's been trying to get a picture of a group of black bears that just arrived this season. He's had no luck, though. He wondered if you would take a swing at it. He'd pay you, so it might be worth your trouble. Alright, so this deer is bleeding pretty pretty extensively. Ah, I found him. I don't even know where to begin with Jonathan. He probably feels like he's becoming one with nature out here. And I can understand that, of course. But he's walking a fine line. 
And I worry one day he might find himself on the wrong side. Probably come across a coyote by now. We have a sizable population in the reserve, but the wildlife varmint control are constantly trying to keep it in check. Fiona Voiles is their operator in the area, and she's your go to when it comes to the coyotes in this region. They could use some help with the population control, and there's good money in it, too. She wanted me to let you know that Chila Pass has seen an increase in coyote sightings lately and that they're offering a reward to anyone harvesting coyotes. I think you'll need a coyote collar for this one. So one of the other issues that bothers me about the UI elements is that I was in the camera mode and I clicked on the deer by accident. Now I have the, both the UI for the camera and the, the info screen for the deer kill up. That seems like poor design and I can't click anything either. Okay, so I just killed a deer here. Why is there another deer so close? <laughs> okay, well, whatever. Deer should have smelled me a mile away too, because he was coming at me from the direction of the wind. Whatever. Looks like I've got another deer coming right at me. It's a fox. I don't think I got him, but...
Oh, I did. Really? No fucking kill? Ugh. And that deer probably ran off. Alright, well, note to self, you can't kill foxes. back again. I thought walking on paths makes you quieter. Got him. So I guess this kind of highlights my point that I've only been playing for, what, maybe a half an hour? And I've already killed however many things? It's not really how that works. Got that guy through the neck. Quick kill bonus. See, I got a quick kill bonus of 100% on that, and it didn't really change the cash value. Not entirely sure. try and find these landmarks. The other thing that bugs me about this game is that there are a landmarks. There are a couple of different types, just like regular weird landmarks, whether it be like a hiking lodge or a, a stack of stones or whatever. And there's also piles of building materials that you can turn into different types of hunting blinds, whether it be a tree, like a Excuse me, not a not a tree stand, but like a like a tower, or maybe like a a, a ground level uh, shack for hunting. It costs you money to build them, and that's fine. But they're already predetermined locations, and um, sometimes you can't activate them to build them because there are tracks on, uh, of animals in the way because you track the the tracks of the animal instead of building the, the hut. Like, for instance, this examined track might be, like, right next to where you build the thing, and you can't activate the stand because the track's in the way. 
kind of a minor gripe, but whatever. But, um, so you can't just take a portable tree stand with you and climb a tree and put a, put a stand in a tree and just sit wherever you want. Um, I mean, you can sit wherever you want, but you can't have the benefit of being in a, uh, in a blind, if you will, in a, in a predetermined location. So, uh, unless it's in a predetermined location. So there's that. But some of these landmarks are kind of useless. They literally do nothing but give you your bearings, which I guess is fine, because that's what a lot of landmarks do, but so there's a coyote. We might be able to hit that from this distance. Anyway, that's just one of my minor gripes, but... Oh, buck. Oh, he's gone. Uh, and then... Another deer, or what is that? It's a fox. I'm gonna have to hit it from here. So, like, I don't even know what this is. What is this? I haven't discovered it yet. So it's a pile of stuff. I wonder if it's an outpost I can build. I don't even, I don't even know. We're gonna find out. It's probably just, a, just a hunting blind. I don't think you get to build build the outposts. I think you just have to find them. Yeah. It's a hunting blind thing that I can build. $1,700 to build it. Wow, that's a lot. Alright, well, keep that in mind. splatter. I know he ran off in this direction. Ooh, did I get him? I did. Look at that. That was a good hit. High angle. See, I, I guess I'll have to re-watch the footage because I thought I aimed a lot higher than that, but I guess that's good because that means that there's bullet drop. Distance, 179. So, I got less cash for him, but a higher trophy. I'm confused. Okay, well, at least that got him. So, two minor difficulty. I only got 18 for quick kill bonus, which doesn't make a lot of sense because he didn't get very far from the blood splatter. And yet I thought I saw him run a lot farther. It's so weird. Because I could have sworn he ran, like, all the way from, like, over in that area there, right there, to, like, all the way over here, but the blood splatter was, like, right here. It's gone now, but maybe there was more blood splatter over there, and I just missed it. 
Alright, so... So anyway, we've got... Um, we've got a kind of a, uh, a hike, but we're kind of close to a lookout point. I think we should go over there. Alright, here's the other problem I have. I can place a waypoint, right? But you don't see waypoints or any of these icons unless you're within 100 meters of them. And you're thinking, oh, well, there's probably, like, so... There's an old waypoint. I don't know why that's still there, because I just moved it. That's weird. Okay, there's a bug. Alright, so let's do remove waypoint. Okay, now it's gone. Place waypoint. Okay, so, because it's more than a more than 100 meters away, I can't see it. And you'd think, oh, well, bring up your PDA and it'll tell you which direction to go. No. And I've got this mission here that's kind of obscuring my little moving mini-map. But if I hit escape, let's say I don't want to mess with missions right now, I hit escape, and it does this. So, I can't actually cancel the mission. So, like... Where I maybe I didn't kill a coyote. Maybe it was a fox. Maybe I said that already. I don't know what I killed. I couldn't tell. All right. So anyway, uh, I can't. Okay. So if I hit enter, I can accept all these missions that doesn't really do anything because they were already in here it's just a matter of tracking them they're like automatically selected so that UI element doesn't make sense alright so anyway we have this waypoint that I placed but even like I was saying earlier even now that it's placed there's no direction on the moving minimap to tell me which way to go so the, literally the waypoints are useless they're literally useless and from what I was reading online, the people that play multiplayer, nobody can see each other's waypoints. So it's not even like, hey, go over here. I'll meet you over here. Well, I don't know where where you put the waypoint. So they don't even technically have a purpose in multiplayer either, apparently. So that needs to be improved. All in all, the game feels like it was rushed. It's pretty. Don't get me wrong. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, but as far as being unpolished... Like, what's that? I What is that? What's going on over there? Um, it's It feels like they laid the base work down, and then, like, the map's pretty, they made the, the environments, they made some of the locations, and then they put a really hapdash user interface on there, and then basically called it quits. Because... I mean, yeah, I can hunt deer, I can kill them, I can collect them, I get money, I can get more amp, I can get more weapons and all that stuff, but like, there are apparently missions that you get that are automatically accepted that are like, for instance, that coyote mission, go use the predator to jackrabbit collar to harvest two coyotes. I almost guarantee you that if I try and buy one, it's not going to say it's unlockable yet because I don't have near enough skill points. <clears throat> so there's some balance issues um, but but it is pretty uh, I, I don't know how well uh, it or how easy rather it would be in multiplayer to like work together to flush out deer like what you do in real life when you have a couple of people working together somebody working uh, downwind of the deer, uh, waiting in an ambush point, and somebody circling around behind the deer and pushing them toward the, the person who's going to take the shot by just kind of walking and making a whole hell of a lot of noise. Um, 
I don't know if that even works as a as a concept. But anyway, those are my struggles, I guess. A little irritating, but you know, whatever. I guess. All right, we gotta keep going. So in reality, I think I've pretty much cover, covered the majority of all the problems that I have. Um, I can't really think of more issues, but those are the, the jarring ones that I think definitely need to get improved quickly. So kind of in review, I mean, user interface, obviously, balance. Uh, missions asking me to do things I don't have unlocked yet. Um, and just the unnecessarily long grind to unlock a lot of weapons and equipment. This isn't a free to play game. This is I paid full price for it. So let's not make it let's not make it complex. Make it a, just a matter of maybe a handful of levels that you need to reach to make sure that you've gotten through certain game concepts and understand them. And then just make it a matter of unlocking with, with the money you earn um, hunting. Ooh, there, there we go. But it's, it's kind of, uh, it's the things that you unlock are a little expensive, and then beyond that, um, the level requirements are ridiculous. So there's that. And then you have, uh, hold on, let's see if we can get this guy. Oh shit, he's out of range. So you have that. I feel like one of the major concerns, probably the thing that I should have f mentioned first, is this game definitely needs ATVs. ATVs, dirt bikes, jeeps, something to transport your character a little, a little faster. And maybe something, because there's apparently a storage mechanism, you can only carry so much gear, maybe the ability to store some gear on the ATV that you can switch out without, without having to go all the way back to your base. Some of the really early hunting games, like back in the day when I was a kid, I mean the graphics were shit, but man the playability was there because you could drive an ATV and you could place tree stands and you could use lures and do all these things. This game feels very arcadey. Uh, it's like it's like I feel like they intended this game to be more of a simulation, but they could not get away from the arcade feel. Um, so, uh, UI, uh, balance issues, vehicles, um, the fast travel points, like, uh, I mean, there's only a handful of outposts, you don't see them automatically, and you can't fast travel to them until you've unlocked them. Um, why not? Why not make them visible? You know, so that you can at least beeline to them to unlock them and then fast travel to them. No, I'm just kind of searching in the dark. Oh. That was a miss. Um, so, I think, alright, so, I keep having to re-review everything because I keep getting distracted, but, yeah, so, balance, user interface, vehicles, fast travel problems with, with the fact that I don't know where any of the outposts are, and I can't tra fast travel to them. Ooh, that's a bear. See? I can't even finish a full sentence before I get distracted by the amount of animals that are out here. Um, uh, 
but you can control when when you hunt with the resting. So I could come out here at night. I mean, you do have a headlamp. You can you could hunt at night if you wanted to. Um, but why no camping gear? Why can't I set up? Like, let's say I just exit out of the game. Yeah. So right now, without doing anything, send me back to the main outpost. But allow me to buy a camping gear set that I can place anywhere puts out a little tent, a little campfire, and then I can use that as a save point so that when I come back into the game, I come back into the game in that spot. And that's a really simple concept, and that could be easily implemented, but it's just, it's not. Um, so I think I hit him on that second mm. shot. Okay, that's kind of making me nervous. now, just in case. Oh yeah. That's a big ass bear. Did I get him? I think I got him. Yeah, I got him. Okay, that needs some improvement. There's no, literally no ragdoll. He's dead, but he's just chilling. Okay. So, trophy type skull, but I hit him in the skull, so... Uh, that's weird, because I thought he was looking at me. That, why does it look like I hit him from the back? Okay, that, I think that's a little bugged out. Alright, so here's a landmark. Literally just a pile of rocks. It does nothing. Can't fast travel to it, nothing. I don't, I don't understand. Alright, so let's find this dude. Alright, this guy probably got away. Blood bleed rate very low. It's probably not going to go down until I hit him again. So let's take this nice and slow. So it's kind of important to not get target fixation when you're tracking, because he could just be chilling in the wood line here. Sounds close.
trees, I think. Put him out of his misery. Oh, come on! This is the guy I shot the first time. The first shot was at a weird angle. So I got him like, I guess I got his scapula. And you could see he was having a hard time walking. And then the second shot, I waited until he took his, put his head up, and I got him right, right in the chest cavity. Got his right lung. So, I put him down pretty quick. So, didn't get a quick kill bonus, but I got an integrity bonus, consecutive harvest bonus. Uh, I didn't really get much for that. So, anyway. So we've been hunting for what, an hour? How many kills have I gotten? I mean, I don't, I don't know. <clears throat> Feels a little too easy to me, to be honest. I feel like I should be stalking my targets for a little bit longer, and I feel like once I've fired, hang on. And once I've fired, it should be pretty hard to find anything in your immediate area for a while, just because everything scatters. Um, but that's not quite the case. So anyway, I guess I could end the video here um, and, you know, let you make your own decisions. Those are, those are my opinions. Um, I mean, I feel like uh, the improvements uh, would be great, I think, uh, for the people who think that a lot of these options are controversial, uh, it should maybe be an option in the menu that you can choose, because people seem to be really worried that people are going to misuse vehicles if they get added. I'm making a multiplayer option to turn them off if you're that scared of it. Maybe you should be playing with better people. But anyway... That's my two cents. Uh, I feel like this could get pretty repetitive pretty quickly if there wasn't if there wasn't a little bit more of a a feeling of uh, accomplishment for a long stock, uh, and then accomplishing your kill, and then you know having you know maybe a trophy system that people have mentioned that existed in the previous game that that you can actually get the antlers, you know, you actually get an indication of what the antlers look like, and whatever. Uh, but that doesn't seem to be the case in this one, so... Um, it feels like they have emphasis on, uh, you know, cycling through kills and hu hunting quickly instead of making the the lesser number of kills that you should be getting a little bit more rewarding, so I don't know if I, if I agree with that at all. But anyway, so uh, thanks for watching uh, and tolerating uh, the long drawn out uh, explanations, uh, and maybe I'll do another one of these uh, for another game, or maybe do a continuation as I continue to play this game and learn more about it. Alright guys, 